Good morning, Living Waters family. We're so glad you guys are here in this cozy space. For some of you, it might be your first time back in the round. Um, and for others, I know we've seen you guys every week, but we're just so thankful you guys are here, whether you're watching online from home or on the road or watching this later in the week. We're just grateful to have a chance to gather as a family. So we're gonna start this morning just by worshiping and connecting with Jesus. So why don't we stand together? I know those couches are so comfy, but you can go home and sleep. I mean, you guys know probably from, from seeing our newsletter and our, our social media, or if you were here the last couple of weeks, but we are engaging a season of lament as a church. And it's something that's really been on our heart as a leadership team that we feel God's invited us into. The last two years has been intense. It's been a lot. And we know that so many, so many of us, every single one of us has not been untouched by something, whether it's you know, pain we're walking through in our families or stuff since 2020 and 2021 or whatever it is you're walking through, we know that so many of us have had loss and experienced grief. And so we wanna just say as a church and as a family that that is welcome, that the emotions that you're feeling are welcome. This is a safe place. And we know that, you know, safety can feel different emotionally than physically, right? So. Sometimes you might be like, well, emotionally, I don't actually know all these people, so is it really safe? But I just wanna encourage you that in the unity of the Holy Spirit, there's safety for you here and that we are one in Jesus and that there's no condemnation or judgment that's gonna be happening. And so just say yes to wherever the Holy Spirit may pull you in this morning. He may pull you in in a moment in worship, but maybe when Drew's sharing, maybe at the end, it may be a, a pull to go share something vulnerable with a friend and just bear what's going on in your life and just to sit there with them in that place of pain. And we wanna be a church that's not here to fix each other because we know that we can't do that anyway. Jesus is the one that touches us, but we will be present with each other in our, in our pain and in our grief. So let's start this morning just by focusing our attention on Jesus, the one who knows every pain we've walked through. He knows our suffering. I woke up one of these mornings this week. This isn't a normal thought for me, but I woke up thinking about Jesus, his body on the cross and what his physical body must have felt. And I literally walked through it in my mind, just like what would he have felt? And I felt like the Holy Spirit gave me, um, woke me up with that picture and with that experience to just remind me like, I am with you in your suffering and there is no suffering I haven't experienced. There's no human emotion I didn't feel. And so today Jesus wants to come close to you. So Jesus, thank you that you're here. We remember you're the faithful one through everything we've walked through. You're the faithful, good, kind Father, present, even in the places where maybe we're in pain and we can't see you or we can't hear you the same way that we normally do. Would you just come and be with us? Would you come and hold us in those places? Would you give us a revelation that you were the one that suffered by your stripes were healed? That there's no suffering that you're a stranger to.
for, I wrote this with our church in mind and the families and the loss and the things that we've been walking through as a church family. And each of the women that helped write this song, they each were bringing really painful circumstances from their life and from their church homes. And so we wrote this song for our churches in the midst of walking out of 2020, 2021 and deep loss and grief that we just come back to a place of dependency on Jesus. And just a cry from our hearts that just says, God, come to me, meet me, 
and all the things that I know that you are, meet me in this place of need. So let's sing this together.
Yes,
faith. And I just feel like for some of us, we're singing, Jireh, you're enough. And that means, Jehovah Jireh, you are my provider. God, my provider is that word, Jireh. And for some of us, we sing this and we're like, but is he enough? I don't know. Like there's a lack. I'm feeling this lack. I'm in this moment of grief, in this moment of tension or sorrow. So I want us to sing this, but from a place of just dependency and knowing that we're speaking this in faith, that He is enough for every place in our lives where there is lack, where maybe we're experiencing the lack right now. And I just wanna invite us to encounter Jaira, who is enough for everything we need. And if there's more grace that you need this morning, if there's more joy, if there's grace to walk through a season of lament and to actually feel emotion, there's enough for you. If it's stress in your finances, there's enough for you. If, if there's a need for friendship and community, he, there will be enough for you. So let's sing this again as an anchor point coming back to remembering there's enough in him. Jesus. 